The Gatehouse HS1 helmet has been developed to meet the risks involved in all areas of equestrian sport and to meet the performance requirements of British, European and the Snell E2001 helmet standards. Horse riding has a unique and complex area of risks. To fall, be crushed or kicked, no two accidents are the same and with so many variables of speed, height, weight and distribution of impacts, some reasonably foreseeable impacts may exceed the helmet's capability to protect the wearer from severe head injury or death. These risks are well assessed in the Snell E2001 standard with crush test, horseshoe, hazard anvil impact and the demanding hemispherical anvil test along with a penetration test. The Gatehouse HS1 has several special features. The carbon fibre reinforcing band moulded around the lower edge of the shell to improve protection from crushing and impacts on the edge of the shell. This reinforcement improves the centre of gravity with better weight distribution and balance. The quick release buckle is exceptionally strong and durable to meet the Snell test criteria. The latest version of the HS1 has an additional sandwich type shock absorber to manage both high and low energy impacts. This is extended to the edge of the shell and includes a special nape pad to give extra protection to the brain stem. The top of the helmet has been made especially flexible to absorb the energy of a crown impact and reduce transmitted shock to the spine. The best way to show you how and why the helmet works is to view some of the Snell helmet testing of the Gatehouse HS1 in slow motion. Here we show the hemispherical anvil test. The helmet is dropped from a height of 1.6 metres. This is designed to represent any irregular surface, a pole, fence post, stones, etc. This test is not included in PAS 015, ASTM or BSEN 1384. The helmets are tested at temperatures of plus 50 degrees centigrade, minus 20 degrees centigrade and ambient, wet and dry. All the test results are recorded. It is the impact registered by the head form inside the helmet that determines a pass or fail. You can see the site of the hemispherical anvil impact. The helmet shows little signs of damage. The shell has distributed the direct impact over a larger area and the liner will have absorbed this by compressing thus reducing damage to the head. This is the hazard anvil test, representing a kick or secondary knock from a horse's foot. The helmet is dropped from a height of 1.4 metres. For PAS 015, the drop height is reduced to 1.3 metres and this test is not included for BSEN 1384. Again, the helmets are tested at temperatures of plus 50 degrees centigrade, minus 20 degrees centigrade and ambient wet and dry. This test is designed to represent a fall onto a level surface such as a road, track or menage. The flat anvil test shown here for Snell E2001 is from a drop height of 2 metres. For PAS 015 the test height is 1.8 metres for a crown impact and 1.5 for the lower sides of the helmet. For BSEN 1384 the drop height is 1.5 metres overall. The helmets are tested at temperatures of plus 50 degrees centigrade, minus 20 degrees centigrade and ambient wet and dry and results recorded. The penetration test is performed by dropping a weight of 3 kilograms from a height of 1 metre. This is designed to represent a stud on a horseshoe, a gate latch or even part of a vehicle or lorry tailgate. The test striker must not penetrate or achieve even momentary contact with the head form. This test is the same for PAS 015 and the drop height is reduced to 0.5 metres for BSEN 1384. There is also a compression or crush test for Snell E2001. The HS1 was especially designed to resist the danger of a horse rolling on the wearer's head and in test conditions outperformed a full face motorcycle helmet in resisting a load of 3000 newtons which is equivalent to 306 kilos. For Snell E2001 the test limit is 1,000 newtons. For PAS 015, the limit is 630 newtons, and there is no compression test for BSEN 1384. We are trying to overcome the laws of gravity and the associated risks in equestrian sport 
with a compact, well-balanced product with an overall thickness of approximately 30mm. With our policy of continuous improvement, the dual crown padding and nape protection developed for the latest model of the HS1 has been extended to the rest of the Gatehouse Jockey Skull range, the Junior for Kids, the Standard and Professional Skulls. The HS1 retains its unique carbon composite shell and dynamic quick-release harness system, whilst at Gatehouse we will continue our research and development programme in the search for improved rider safety.